Hi everyone, welcome again to another video clip from Teacher Joseph. We're going through my weekly lesson, which this week is entitled Thanksgiving. And it's all about my American neighbors who very kindly have invited me to spend Thanksgiving with them. Now we're just going to read through this, okay? So it says, British people don't celebrate Thanksgiving, but there's always an American around to invite us. When my American neighbors invited me to spend Thanksgiving with them, I was sure there must be some kind of catch. Now, some kind of catch basically means some kind of second reason some kind of thing which is uh, maybe not dishonest, but there has to be a reason for them inviting me. It's not just out of the goodness of their heart. They're saying, come to spend Thanksgiving. There must be a catch. It means a sales technique for something. You know, there's an old English saying that says, you get nothing for nothing in this world. So if you're invited over to a barbecue in a friend's house, it's not just because they like you, it's because there's some other motive, a catch. So when they invited me for Thanksgiving, in my mind, I was thinking, oh, there has to be some kind of catch, some reason why they're doing this. Perhaps it was to ask me to go to their church, or maybe they wanted me to teach their son how to play the piano. Maybe they wanted help with something or other. I don't know, but I had a feeling there was some kind of catch. So I desperately tried to think of an excuse. Oh, sorry, I'll be working. I answered quickly. Oh, that's fine. Just pop in when you can, he responded. Uh, yes, but what exactly do you do on that day, I asked. Oh, we just try to welcome the neighbors to join us so we can eat together. He went on to say how the whole family get together and sit around the table saying what they are thankful for. Oh, how not British, I murmured, remembering how Americans love positive thinking. The scene kind of resembled an episode of The Simpsons, where Homer meets the neighbor, Ned Flanders. The scene, that just means the atmosphere, what was happening, the scene kind of resembled. The thought of sitting around a table and talking about what I'm grateful for sounds more like a meeting of Alcoholics Anonymous rather than a good time. Alcoholics Anonymous is an organization which exists around the world, taking you through the 12 steps of recovery if you have an alcohol problem. It was one of those moments where I realized just how different British and American culture is. This couple have 13 kids, and he is only 45 years old. The oldest one is coming home for Thanksgiving and will be helping to cook. Again, how not British, I thought to myself. That means at least one child a year. Don't they have Netflix? Then I remembered they shun TV completely. If you shun something, that means you avoid it. You completely uh, avoid any contact with it. People who don't drink, they shun alcohol. People who don't like to watch too much media, they shun TV completely. So one child being born every year isn't so strange after all is what I'm saying there. Okay, so um, what else will you do, I asked. Surely you will spend a lot of time on Skype with your relatives back home 
trying to carve out a plan and reason why it would not be perceived rude if I didn't attend in line with my British politeness. Yeah, you see, this is one thing about being British. We can't just say no. <laughs> we actually um, we actually have to make excuses as to why we can't go. So I was basically saying to him, oh, but you want to talk with your family on Thanksgiving, not talk to me. But um, no, he really wanted to invite me. And he goes on to say, oh, they will be at church all day, he replied. So he will, we will catch up with them in the night. We have six hours difference anyway. Darn, <laughs> is no excuse good enough, I thought, because I didn't want to go. Um, and then we'll just do one more part. I will start cooking at 12 p.m. You can come along and help me if you want. My daughter will have most of it done. I will do the meat, he chuckled. Okay, so uh, just so that you know, um, some kind of catch. That's when there's something in the background that you're not being told that they're trying to get you involved with. That's today's main idiom. Yeah, you can say some kind of catch or a kind of catch or there's always a catch, but uh, we use it when we feel that things are not straightforward as they look. For example, buy three beers and get one free, and you're thinking, yeah, but I only want one beer. And the shopkeeper says, yes, but if you buy two more, you'll get another one free. And you think, yeah, but I only want one. <laughs> you see, that's an example of a catch. Uh, it's an offer to try to pull you in. And uh, when I was being invited for Thanksgiving, I thought, oh, there has to be a catch here, some kind of catch to this. It doesn't look as straightforward as it seems. Why would they invite me and feed me unless they want something? There we are. All right, then. That's it from me. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. Bye.